Hi, this is Mark Henninger from AVS Forum with a review of an Emotiva 7.2 surround sound system. This system is all about delivering maximum impact from two channel and surround sound sources. It mixes Emotiva's basics, subs, and electronics with Emotiva's air motive speakers. Emotiva's basics lineup is all about bringing home great audio at affordable prices. With its no-nonsense approach, the company has created a series of products catering to AV enthusiasts on tight budgets. And while it does not offer 3D immersive audio, like Dolby Atmos, it still makes the most out of the vast majority of movies, TV shows, video games, and of course music that's out there. The basics electronics running this review rig consist of the MC700 7.1 channel 4K AV preamp processor, which sells for $599, as well as the A700 7 channel amplifier, which sells for $699. This amplifier also supports 4 ohm speaker loads and can output up to 210 watts into two channels with under 1% total harmonic distortion. The MC700 preamp and surround processor is the brains of the system. It's a surround sound processor that supports HDMI 2.0 with HDCP 2.2. It has six HDMI inputs, three of which offer full UHD 4K support. And it has fast source switching. The MC700 is broadly compatible with surround sound formats, including Dolby and DTS, as well as PCM data. It has everything you need to enjoy TV, streaming shows, high-res audio, video games, and movies on Blu-ray. The MC700 comes with a remote control, which allows you to access all of its functions. The MC700 offers a sophisticated suite of software tools that allow you to tailor audio to your room and to your preferences. And using the on-screen display with a TV is a sure way to go here. On the rear panel of the MC700, you'll find all the inputs and outputs. In addition to HDMI, it has two stereo analog RCA inputs, a digital coaxial input, a digital optical input, and a slot for an optional BTM1 Bluetooth dongle. For outputs, it has unbalanced RCA connections for all seven channels plus the subwoofer, and the MC700 includes a balanced XLR connection for the subwoofer. Also on the back is an RS-232 port for use with home automation systems, a 12-volt trigger output, an IR remote input and output, as well as the power receptacle. The MC700 comes with a calibration microphone, and it uses Emotiva's EmoQ room correction system. Test tones allow the system to adapt to your room, setting EQ levels and distances automatically. The EmoQ system even lets you fine tune the results of the calibration after the fact. The 7.2 surround sound speaker system contains the following gear two Emotiva AirMotive T1 tower speakers, which cost $699 a pair. One AirMotive C1 center channel speaker, which sells for $249. Four AirMotive E1 wall mount surround speakers, which sell for $269 a pair. And two Basics S12 subwoofers, which sell for $399 each. That all adds up to $3,582, soup to nuts, which is a genuine bargain for a system with this much capability. Now, I've already reviewed the T1 towers as well as the S12 subwoofer in separate reviews, and you can find those articles on AVS Forum. Both represent tremendous bang for the buck versus competing options in their class. The T1 towers are a three-way model that deliver the clarity, dynamics, and wide yet smooth frequency response of a well-designed speaker. When used as part of the 7.2 system, they deftly handled left and right channel duties. These T1 towers, like all the speakers in this system, feature 25 by 32 millimeter air motion transformer tweeters, which are folded ribbons that provide very fast transient response. Emotiva calls these AMT tweeters air motives, which of course is also the name of the speaker line. 
The mid-range on the three-way T1 tower has a 5.25-inch woven fiber cone, and the base comes from dual 6-inch woven fiber cone woofers. Emotiva rates the T1 towers as having a 37 Hz to 28 kHz anechoic frequency response. That's plus or minus 3 decibels. Power handling is rated at 150 watts continuous and 300 watts peak, so they can take whatever the MC700 amplifier throws at them. Meanwhile, the sensitivity rating is 88 decibels at 1 meter. The Air Motive C1 center is the perfect complement to the T1 towers. It features a sophisticated three-way horizontal design with a vertically aligned tweeter and mid-range. Three-way center channel speakers are generally better at avoiding lobing artifacts that can distort sound in two-way designs when you're seated off-axis. The Airmotive C1 center offers a frequency response of 50 Hz to 28 kHz. It has the same size AMT tweeter as the T1 towers, but the mid-range is a 3-inch woven fiber cone. Bass comes from dual 5.25 inch woven fiber woofers, and crucially, the sensitivity is actually one decibel higher than the towers, at 89 decibels one meter. This allows it to match the output of the T1 towers, despite a slightly lower power handling. It's rated at 120 watts RMS and 250 watts peak. Side and rear surround duties in this system were handled by four of Emotiva's Airmotive E1 satellite speakers. These speakers have the eponymous Airmotive tweeter, but they're a two-way design that uses a four-inch woven fiber mid-base driver. The rated sensitivity of these low-profile satellite speakers that are designed to hang on walls is 85 decibels, and power handling is 60 watts continuous with 120 watt peaks. While the E1 is clearly not as capable as the speakers used for the three front channels, satellites don't have to carry as heavy a load. The rated frequency response is 65 Hz to 28 kHz, which is a wide enough range to work with an 80 Hz global crossover on all seven speakers. Rounding out the speaker system are the two Basics S12 subwoofers, which I've also reviewed separately. This model subwoofer offers really great bang for the buck. It digs deep and plays clean, with smooth and powerful output that goes down to 24 Hz. And while the S12 does not feature built-in EQ, it's not a necessity, because the MC700 has parametric EQ built in, as well as fine tunable base management. With the T1 towers and the twin S12 subs working together, stereo sound was as profound as what you might hear at a high-end audio show. And when you feed the system surround sound, you get plenty of immersion from 5.1 and 7.1 mixes. The C1 Center Channel deserves a shout-out for doing a spectacular job with dialogue. In movies, center channels carry a heavy load, but the C1 never missed a beat. Meanwhile, home theater gamers looking for an uncompromising solution to rendering 360 degrees surround sound and hyper-realistic gaming effects will love the precision and impact of this rig. Now. If your home theater budget is limited, but your priorities are fidelity over frivolity, this Emotiva Basics and Airmotive system is worth your serious consideration. And if you decide in the future that you want to add 3D immersive sound like Dolby Atmos or DTSX, you'll find that the only thing you'll need to upgrade is the MC700 surround processor. Indeed, the entire rest of the system the air mode of speakers, the Base 6A700 amp, and the S12 subs are all perfectly great for use with any AV receiver that has preamp outputs. The moral of the story here is that Emotiva has put together a very well-balanced system that can deliver dynamics and fidelity that typically costs a lot more to achieve. This is true for every component in the chain, which is why the end result is so satisfying to listen to. Are there things missing from this outfit that you could wish for? Of course. This is the point of entry to Emotiva's lineup, not the top. But ultimately, Basics is about bringing high fidelity home at bottom dollar prices, and the emissions are minor, such as being limited to three UHD 4K HDMI inputs, or the remote that lacks backlit keys. With this system, while you can see where costs were kept down, you can also see where Emotiva spent the money on performance. 
But overall, this system's performance with stereo as well as standard 5.1 plus 7.1 surround sound sources is so good, the entire system deserves an AVS Forum Top Choice 2017 award.